Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be telling you about how to make a next level GitHub profile readme, which is very very important when you enter this professional world. Because in order to showcase the projects made by you or the contributions made by you in open source, you put all of your code on GitHub. And GitHub must have a good readme in order to leave a good impression on the recruiters or maybe the people who are opting you, maybe in student programs. In my student programs video, if you have not watched it, uh, it will be coming somewhere here. And you can also just go and take a look at that. And in that video, I have talked about the importance of keeping your social networking handles updated. Now, what do I mean by social networking handles? Social networking handles refer to your GitHub profile as well as your LinkedIn profile. These two are very important when you uh, go for an interview maybe or you mention them in your resume or maybe you apply for a student program like a Microsoft Student Ambassador or the uh, Developer Student Club or any program like that. So it is very important for you to have a good GitHub profile readme in order to impress the recruiters as well as leave a good impression. Else, it will leave an impression of that you do not know how to present your work and you are a very lazy person. So today I'm gonna tell you how to make that GitHub profile readme just next level. With just few lines of code, you will be able to make your GitHub profile readme very, very impressive. And let me tell you that GitHub profile readme is just like maybe your Instagram profile or Facebook profile. It just have a picture or profile photo on it and a summary about what all skills you know. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, I have currently just logged in into my GitHub account and have opened it. So all of your readme's must look like this, uh, the contributions tab here and this is uh, this must show your repositories. I don't have any yet. So this looks very, very bad and leaves a very bad impression. So have a look at my readme. This is the readme I have. And today I'm going to teach you how to make this type of readme only. Where you will have the contact me and most used languages, stats, the links to all your social networking sites. If anybody wants to contact you, uh, I also have a YouTube channel. So all of my uh, recent YouTube videos, I can mention more as well. All the languages and tools I know, this is just a GIF and this is basically my introduction that who I am and uh, these are batches which you can also put in your GitHub profile. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, you will have to make a new repository from here. If you don't know how to use git in github, I have also made a video on that. You can check that also out. So the repository name should be same as your username for github, which is here Vrinda temp for me. Description is optional. Uh, let it be pub public because we want all the people should see our readme. Add a readme file, of course, and then just create a repository. So now in this readme, whatever you will put will be uh, depicted in your uh, overview or your profile. You can also see that they have provided all these things. If you want to use them, you can use it also. GitHub profile readme is basically up to you, your own creativity. You can go and look for various options available on the internet. Also it provide you another uh, another repository link which is for github readme's only you can pick up different uh, features and go and try them on they are very exciting let me tell you that so abito let's get started so i'll look at it if you also want this code i can provide you it in the description box you can just go and check it out and make the changes wherever necessary for example, uh, let me copy all of this and show you how we do it. I'll copy all of this. And just paste it here. 
okay and i'll just comment all of that what was written there this to comment we use this symbol here okay so i've commented all that so my first line shows a uh, gif then uh, it shows hi oh my god i'm sorry hi i am vrinda gupta you can also change your name for example your name is for example your name is neha i am neha gupta and then this is all commented out i don't need that and then i have just put a badge here visitors badge a uh, how many people are seeing your get a profile read me how many people are visiting it this batch will count each time a person views your get a read me so you just have to write uh, visitor batch and page id is equal to your get a username for example here i have vrinda temp dot vrinda temp once more because it is referring to this profile this repository and then this is just a batch which i have got from contributing so you need not add it and then uh, you can uh, edit it as per your requirements as per who you are and what all you want to write on your github profile read me i'm currently contributing to some open source you can also change these according to you after that also i have put some gif which i'll tell you in a while and then these languages and tools hash heading and all these languages i know for example you want to add php so you just can uh, replace this icons ke baad slash django ki jagah php and here also php original dot svg and it remains the same in alt also you can write uh, the skill you want php for example i'll show you for example i copy this line and just paste it here and now i want acha paste it a line before else it will all come in new lines you want all of them to be in the same line so you don't have to write each ing in a new line so uh, here it is written git so i'll just erase it and here i'll write php here also i'll write php original word mark svg and here also in alt i'll write php and i think that's all the purpose uh then my latest youtube videos you can put it if you want if you don't have a youtube channel it's okay you can mention some of your blogs which you might have written or any contribution you want to write anything you can mention it's all up to you in the mail me you can write your own email id for example the email id for this account is prinda gupta 604 and in linkedin also you can mention your id you can mention your insta here or anything and then for the stats section this says uh, this all remains the same all you have to replace is your username here which is brinda temp and here also in alt it should be brinda temp okay and here also in the stats you just have to mention Vrinda Temp, get a read me stats and here also in the uh, wherever it is written, na Vrinda and anything like that, you just have to replace all of that with your name. It is as simple as that. You can just copy all the code and also you can understand all the code. You can mention here your name. For example, as I have mentioned in this Neha Gupta, get a stats. Okay. and then all of these are the links i've shown you at the bottom you can also change here according to your links your linkedin profile here your facebook account here your instagram account here your lead code account here or any account you want so now if i commit changes you can see that the profile is beautifully made with least efforts it just took 5 minutes and now if you just go to your profile here you can see this overview looks so much more presentable and 
interesting. So guys, I really hope you like my video and the GitHub readme I've provided to you. I'll provide all the links in the description box. Uh, I'll also provide links to some other sources from which you can try some exciting variations to your GitHub profile according to your creativity and your interest. So thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions, do comment below. Also comment below the views about my GitHub uh, profile read. And also if you have any topic for which you want me to make a video, please do comment that also. Thank you so much guys for watching my video.